Today we're going to look at adding some very basic functionality to a to-do list. So for example, if you have a to-do list and you check items off, we want to just highlight or strike through the items on that list. So how do we accomplish this? We can simply select a range or you could select a whole column. We're just going to select this range here and then you can either right click and we'll go to view more cell actions and conditional formatting. Or if you have the menus visible, we we'll just go to format and conditional formatting. But we'll just go ahead and run from here. So conditional formatting, and then we'll have a pop-up on this right-hand side. So what we're gonna do here is a custom formula. So format rules, custom formula is, and we're gonna say equals, and what we need to make sure we do here is a dollar sign C, and then we can have the same row number that we start with, so five. And then we're gonna do equals true. So this is the standard formatting style here. So let's go ahead and change this to none for background or fill. And maybe we'll change the text color and then we can select strike through. So let's go ahead and check this out. So there we go, simple enough, strike through right there. Now what if we wanna to apply to the checkbox cell as well? So then what we do here is we can open this rule again. So if you don't see the rule, if you're in it like this, we can right click, do more cell actions, conditional formatting, and you can see that formatting rule there. So we can open this up. And then what we have here is apply to range. So we can make this as big as we want. So we can incorporate multiple columns. So if you have more than one column of data, for example, you could apply it across multiple, just like that, and it worked the same. Now in this case, we want to include column C. And so we change this to C5 to D14 or whatever your ending row is. And so now if we hit done, you can see that it turns that checkbox green. Now checkbox won't do a strike through. So now if we go down, we can check any one of these and we see that happening there as well. So we can do different kinds of things here as well. We could add some background color. We could change it gray. We could even turn this to gray, maybe fade it out a little bit, right? Like make these close in color to fade it out. And so you can do whatever option you want there. I'm gonna go back to green for now. And then if you don't want any background, just pick none there and then hit done. And then whenever you're done, you can close that sidebar out. So that is it for today's video. You have now got your to-do list done. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. And you can check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.